all right let's hope the questions on the test then comes okay okay i seriously need to get back to studying now thank you thank you no worries i'll leave you to be see you in class bye bye the next day you can just put it without you ah so you're fourth rank too ryan I guess there is a free win for the Wolves. <laughs> you don't know what's coming your way, boy. It's This is nothing like freshman Bravo. I've been training non-stop and I'm gonna fuck you up so bad. You're gonna realize fighting just isn't for you. Okay. I'm supposed to be scared right now. Am I? I could finger two girls at the same time while fighting you. <laughs> and the still win. <laughs> So, keep the lame trash talk to yourself. Unless you're willing to back it up. Emma Lee Ryan B. Come on, Emma. At least Ryan's actually gonna fight. Gonna fight. You're probably not even going to make the top five because of your shitty work ethic. We both know that if we rank. Where about actual fighting skills instead of just trying to teach me some drum lessons, I rank higher than you. Oh yeah, come on then, show me what you got. Uh -huh. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna f try fighting. Uh, just sex is boring. All in? What the fuck do you mean? And uh, I'm gonna go all in. Play fight? No. What? Special attack. Elbow strike. Let's go. How am I? How do I supposed to fight in this? Let's go. Let's go do this. Oh shit. Oh god. What am I? Is there a timer? No, no, no. Okay, okay. Your goal should be to get your opponent's health bar to zero before they do the same to yours. Okay. So I got this much stamina. I can put on a elbow strike. Use. Oh shit! Now it's my. Uh huh. Your goal should be to get a round. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Uh, body hook. Used. He blocked me. No. Oh no! No! Fuck! Yeah! Shit! Block! Am I dead? No. Okay, 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 okay. Kick! Good shit. Uh, body hook. And body hook again. He blocked me? How could you block me, bruh? Block. Good shit. How? What? Oh, shit. Imar. I'm a homie. How am I? Fuck this. What the fuck is turtle? Alright. Why the. Oh. Huh? I don't get this. What's the turtle? Fuck this elbow strike. Let's go. Yeah, big one. Uh, three left. I'm gonna go jab. Screw this. Yes, big dubs. Oh, head bunt. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Shit. Block this, you. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. No. Let's go hook. Fuck this. Good, good one. Now the big ones are gone. Let's go for another hook and then. Nah, I'm gonna go body hook. Fuck! I don't know what to do. Hook this. Yes. Huge. Okay, okay, this is gonna be hell of shit. Oh god. Two. Three. Ooh, uh, yeah, I get the dub, boy. I get the fucking. And it'll go body hook. Be easy on my boy. Ooh! Oh, you think you're strong, huh? 
Let's go, I win. Huh? What the fuck do you mean? I won. What do you mean not what? How? Having a little brawl there, fellas? Oh shit. Thought I might made clear on Monday that such behavior is dangerous. Uh, Imar had an anger attack. Uh, it was horrible. We were just trying to help him. What the fuck is an ellipse? An ellipse attack? Of course. Well, let's make sure then that something like that never happens. Never happens again. So, we're not in trouble? Not yet. You're not. No, you're not in trouble. Okay, he looks... Per you were just helping your friend, right? Right. The guy is creepy. And he looks like uh, X from X-Men. Professor X. Maybe Grayson was right. I might have uh, got to go fighting in the hallway. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe we are untouchable. He's not so bad. I don't trust him. I don't know what he's up to, but I'm sure this wasn't the end of it. The man's definitely jerking off right now to all the ways he could punish us. Who cares as long as you can't go through with them? We'll be fine. Hope so. Oh, please. Not this filthy, filtered montage. Later. Oh. 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 Hey, babe. Ah. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh, God damn it. Ready for some brainstorming? Yeah, well, confession time. What? Uh, what's happened? I already come up with some ideas. Of course you did. Two minutes late, I'm, and you already done all the work. Yeah, I kind of have. To be honest, I'm not surprised. You're pretty good at this stuff. You can't still help me decide on some things okay cool now obviously your emotional support is super important oh god damn it in other words you want me to tell you that your ideas are amazing exactly all right i'll do it all right so what's your plan well we only have around 300 dollars to spend Considering there's a lot of people, we'll probably need all of it for alcohol shit. That's a mm. Just have the... Mm, fuck. Fuck this. I don't know one will be there for if it wasn't for free alcohol. It's gonna be the most important thing if you want people to have a good time. And that's it. And that's all we can afford. Shit. I really hope people are gonna like it. I'm sure they will. People are already excited. And so if we give them free alcohol, they'll be blown away. Thanks for being so supportive. You can go now. I know I know I don't always make it easy to organize things with me. Are you kidding me? You did all the work by yourself. If that's not making it easy, I don't know what is what it is. Especially with this new auditor coming in. Yeah, I saw him earlier today, actually. Imar and I were having a little friendly brawl in the hallway. <gasps> oh god, what did he do? Nothing, surprisingly. He just kind of walked away. That's not good. But no, that's really good. We didn't get in, in, into trouble. A guy like that comes in and promises to shake things up and then does nothing when true students do exactly what he told not told them not to. That seems fishy. Hmm? Speak of the devil. Oh shit. What is it? We can just send an mail to the whole school. Starting tomorrow, any student caught voluntarily engaging in a physical escalation, whether on or off campus, will be expelled immediately. No exceptions shall be made for this rule, especially not for students who are members of the fraternity. Fuck. Looks like he did more than nothing. 
Fuck this guy. Ah, fuck this guy. He can't take away fighting from us. I'll destroy. It'll destroy the frats. Problem with Mikrin is that half of students think he can't actually change anything, so they don't bother to do, do anything about him. While the other half are terrified of him. This, so they are too scared. Students of SVC need someone that can unite them. Someone who understands that Mikrin is actually a threat to all of us, but who is enough right to stand up against him regardless. And who's that gonna be? Don't tell me it's me. Oh, you. Oh, okay. Good. Crazy. Good. That's very brave. For you, Nora. Of you, Nora. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, thank you, but I'm not doing it to be brave. If no one speaks up against him, you'll just turn against each other. You'll just... Okay. The, this new rule of expelling everyone who fights in just uh, first of many if you don't do anything it'll be end of tournaments, parties, student events and etc. No one will drink or fight or have a good time because they will be too scared that another student will tell on them. Yep. All I wanted was for students to stop being divided and I'm not gonna let him ruin that. I still can't believe you were planning on expelling anyone caught fighting. That's just messed up. Why is she here? Good morning, class. Today you'll be reading chapters 7 and 8 of your books while I sit here and watch. What? Everything okay, right? Sorry, Miss Rose, I thought there might be a test. You know, considering you gave one to the other class. I see. First of all, that was a surprise test, so you know, knowing about it in advance kind of defeats the point. But more importantly, it's been more clear that my efforts at this college aren't valued, so valued, so I'm not going to create extra work for myself by having to create a 15 page of her. Tell Riley, I told you so. Asking her, Mr. Rose, are you okay? Let's just say the new auditor and I are not getting along. Okay. Let's get reading, people. Okay. All right. Two more minutes. Announcement speakers. Ding. Hey, everyone. This is Nora, head of social committee. And in our has kindly allowed me to use PA system to tell you all about our college sleepover this Friday. Uh, we are going to have an awesome uh, evening, uh, morning, having fun and drinking non-alcoholic <coughs> drinks. Please come in pajamas and similar night attire with a sleeping bag, uh, blow up pillows. I am really excited to see you all there. Before I signing off, I wanted to say one more thing. Even though we can all agree that violence, vandalism and substance abuse are really, really issue that school faces, the school committee condemns that new uh, approach to dealing with said issues. We should have be having more open discussions and approaching these things together, students. And rather than wait, hold on a second. Uh, fuck this. We should have an open discussion and approaching these things together, students and faculty, hand in hand. Instead of creating authoritarian rules where punishment far exceeds the crime, removing any trust between students and teachers and turning friends against Thump that dude. Thank you. Nora, I'm, I'm sure the sleepover will be loved. Announcement speaker starts off. Nice stuff. Ugh. That's all for today. Uh, read the rest of the chapters in time for next week or don't. Don't. Pete, could you stay for the second after class? Oh, 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 sure, it's Rose. Uh huh, everything okay? Run away with me. Where? Oh, <laughs> what? I want to get as far as away from the shitty school with all these shitty people as possible. It's just you and me on a beach somewhere in South America. Wouldn't that be incredible? Oh, oh, damn. Alright. Alright, I'm in. 
Let's book some tickets. I wish it was that easy. Yeah. It can be. Now I can leave Nora. Uh, to tell and you need to finish your degree. Oh yeah, that's uh, I can't ask you to throw away your education for me. Okay. No matter how much I'd like to. Oh, okay. We. Oui. Okay. As I could have you right here, right now. And I could. Oh, yeah? Wait, take my mind off everything. Bend me over my desk and do me from behind. <laughs> First running away to South America, now this. What can I say? I'm feeling. Uh huh? Nani? Eliza? Did you two just make <laughs> No, we were just getting over. I saw you and if my ears didn't deceive me, you instructed him to bend you over. You don't know what you saw. And you better forget all about that. No way. Major finds out that you're hooking up with a student and that's it. You'll be fired, publicly scolded and probably never work as a teacher again. Oh, wow. That's what we call leverage. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna ask you what you want. What do you want? Hmm. I wanna watch it. <laughs> nah. Nani? You heard me. This dude, man. Fine. Just never tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Super so promise now to tell anyone what you saw today. Meet, eh? Of course, you let me watch you and I'll never tell a soul. Uh, meet, are you sure about this? We have to do this for us. Okay, Lisa, you can watch us have sex, but stay over there. And if you ever tell anyone about this, I will cut your balls off and feed them to you. <laughs> I, I agree to those terms. Good stuff. Can you just lock the door at least? What's gonna happen? Oh, okay. So, uh, the, that girl, uh, fuck, that guy watched us and we took a photo of him with the hand on his Billy. So, that's about it. We consulted her, what she was thinking, and then uh, we're here. I'm gonna assume you all seen the email. Even though American mentioned in the email that this rule was stated due to students fighting in the hallway, I haven't called this emergency meeting to find out which two people were dumb enough to do this same week as that an auditor comes in. Wait, what? Roar was without his t shirt here and he uh, fuck this is old, old curl. Let's take one. The reason I call this meeting is so that all of you understand what this new rule means. Even though the school has always had rules against fighting, voluntary fighting, where both parties agreed to participate, it has never led to any real punishment. In the past, if you are caught, you might have to write an essay on the issue of physical violence or you might have to pick up some trash around campus, but American decided to change that. He says he's going to expel anyone caught voluntarily participating in a fight. And I believe him. Where does that leave us for the winterverse? Versus fighting has always been part of this fraternity and it always will be. Oh, but the consequences of getting caught have never been this high before. Therefore, everyone of you should think about whether you are willing to take that risk and expecting, expect to be told by next Thursday before you announce. Don't tell me otherwise before then I expect you to fight. What about you? I'll be fighting. I'm not going to let some grumpy old turd take away the thing I love the most. I will fight no matter what. That's a leader fight right there. Let's go. I hope you will too. Good stuff. Ah, time to do some studying in the library. A real bro. Meet? Oh yeah, Adam. What are you doing here so late? Browse. Just studying. 
I didn't know you studied. Shut up. Excuse me. I just never see you in the library. Okay. I study loads. Uh, I have you know that I do plenty of studying, mostly at home though. Impressive. By the way, did you know that having sex has a bunch of physical and mental health benefits? It burns calories, reduces stress, lowers your risk of heart attacks. Most people fascinating. I didn't know that. How fascinating. Okay. I may have been reading up on sex after our uh, encounter. Oh, okay, the first episode. Romantic. <laughs> I just like being prepared, especially if we were to ever do it uh, again. Are you saying you'd like to do it again? Again? Maybe not right now, right away, but eventually, yes, definitely. Wait, when did we first had sex? We can make that happen. When the fuck did we had sex in the first place? We can certainly make that happen. Splendid. Anyways, I'll leave you to it. Have fun studying. Mm, don't I always? When the fuck did we... Huh? Am I tripping? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm bored, whatever. Uh, booty call, please. Okay. And they want me to become one of their brand ambassadors. Okay. Sick. And they got free night in one of their luxury suits just to consider it. Give me... Oh, looks like their model lifestyle is already paying off. Can I... Uh... Oh, and I can bring someone you in a night of sleeping like the one percent hell yeah <laughs> all right what's up Imer he needs to huh dude the what the fuck is we on about he needs to what the fuck is that it's a skull okay I, I die die sure uh -huh. No, no, why are we here? Yesterday you said preparations for tonight's pajama party are pretty much done. Also, where's Paris and Mr. Matthews? Please don't. Paris is ill and I decided not to invite Mr. Matthews for this one. Huh? We are here because I was ambushed. This huh? Ambushed? Dina is asked me to follow her into the office where the devil himself was already waiting. Who? That guy, the auditorium. Mirkin. What happened? Apparently, the statements I made during the studies announcement were promoting criminal activity and undermining Mirkin's efforts. Okay. So he's disbanding the social community effectively immediately and cancelling the sleepover. Sad. He can't do that. Oh god, I'm gonna have to uninvite so many people. No, I have worked every free hour I had this week to make this happen. We already brought all the drinks. We're going to have the sleepover. I don't care what Merkin says. Ah, let's do this. Fuck. Fuck getting expelled. Fuck Merkin. It's not our problem. I'm with you, Nora. Let's do this. Tonight at 9 p.m. I'll be here in my pajamas, my sleeping bag, ready to go, have a good night. But I can't do this alone, we need to let everyone coming know that school is no longer okay with it, and that maybe we might just get in trouble for doing this. Are you sure it's a good idea? Of course it is, fuck this. We need to set an example for all the students at SVC that we won't just roll over with American tells us to do. If he wants to change, he'll need to work with us, not against us. Okay. I mean, me too. Pajamas. So we can find out about this, we're all toast. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna stand out there. Well, better make the most of it. Huh? What the fuck are these 
Oh, they're all already here. What's this? Okay, never have I ever had a threesome. Uh huh. Nope, me neither. Oh. Hey, me. Nah. Hey, okay, time for threesome. Get ready. Oh, hello. Wanna sit down with us? Sure, why not? Sure. We're just playing Never Have I Ever, alright? Just the two of you. It's a good way to get tipsy. Plus, Penelope and I didn't really know each other that well until 20 minutes ago, that is. Fair enough. Okay, my turn. <clears throat> Never have I ever tried anal. Ah. Does a finger count? <laughs> nope. Then never. Uh, definitely doesn't. What an odd hill to die on. I had my principles. What about you? What, anal? What about me? Have you ever had, you know, have you, you know, given anal to someone? Um, don't drink. Nope. Really? Yeah, yeah, true, trust me. Yes, really, I never, not like a couple of days. Your turn, meet. What? Okay, so can I ask? I never have I ever said the wrong name in bed slept with someone significantly older just say someone significantly older slept with someone significantly older it sounds fair milks don't count right all right I do tell it was my friends oh my god every summer my family and my friends family would stay at the summer house on my 19th birthday just kind of happened. No, he was just a big lumberjack looking man. Why, he is such a gentle soul. <laughs> no regrets. Uh, like that. Is that really a story? Seems like pretty nice memory. Well, my friend kicked me out the next day when she found out. She still blames me for playing a part in her parents' divorce, obviously. Oh no. I thought they were already separated because she wasn't there with us that year. Turns out she was finishing up a business, business trip. Way to ruin a marriage. Eh, fuck this. It's not your fault, you didn't know. Tell that to his now ex-wife. Uh, Lindsay, I think it's you again. Okay, 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 I can't really think of anything else. We've been playing for a while, why don't we take a break? Thank god. I hate never have ever. I'm gonna check out what some of the other guys are doing. See you later. Howdy. Bye bye. Uh, that could have gone bad. Wait. Huh? What's this? No! What's these fools doing? Hey guys. Meet, you're finally here. Yeah, what up? long enough you almost missed me destroy uh, Ryan in a wheelchair race. almost uh, I'm like 20 minutes late I already beaten him in chalk distance throwing and pin fencing maybe I'll beat you in table jumping the fuck is going on how do you guys have time to do all this in 20 minutes oh we are at half an hour early so we could start competing Pajama games, baby. <laughs> I want it. Eh, I guess I did something. Yes, I did. And then, how come you have to own a single game? What? I just arrived. Exactly. Oh, I wanna, wanna join. Mm, nah, I'm good, thanks. I'm gonna see what the grown-ups are up to. Your loss, of course, it says that. He just went there, I guess. I was there. Fix it. Huh? How many rooms are there, bro? Huh? Grayson? He's just constantly trying to manipulate you. It's exhausting. 
Cameron. Okay, yeah, I'm trusting him less these days. Ah, Grayson's just the worst. Hey. Hey. I'm gonna take a dump, so don't wait up. Thanks for letting us know. <laughs> what? So, you and Cameron, huh? We haven't really talked much in the past, but we do share a common enemy, Grayson. I get that you dislike Grayson as sex, but I thought Cameron was like his best friend. First of all, Grayson and I are never officially dating. We just had a thing, alright. Secondly, Cameron used to be Grayson's best friend, but... The more you see how Grayson treats other people, how he manipulates everyone around him, and how he enjoys other people's misery, Shit, I don't think anyone can be his best friend for very long. Same reason I broke off, broke it off with him. He's a sociopath. Cameron happens to think he'd make a better president than Grayson. Okay. Hmm. Don't be off. Grayson's a terrible leader. His violent salvation clearly doesn't give two shits about the frat. Let's hope this is his last year then. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you and Cameron be. That's up to his bowels. He might not make it out alive. <laughs> Gross. He's back. Damn it. Anyway, I blew it off with this girl, I guess. Hold up. What is this? Huh? Why is... Huh? How big is this thing? I wa just what I needed for wheelchair race. No, I don't. They can wait. All right. Uh, just went here. And then I'll exit. Oh, hey! Cigarettes? Look at your criminals over here. <laughs> Smoking the green, are we? Marijuana? Pretty sure it's legal now. Oh, it's marijuana, all right. Not if you're under 21, it isn't. And yet, you are under 21 and drinking. Okay. Touche. You want some? Nah, let's get high. Sure. Here you go. Oh, boy. That's a good stuff, huh? It's good, isn't it? Yep. So, what have you guys been talking about? Well, Riley was saying that girls are much better at eating pussy than guys are because they know what, where everything is. I know where everything is. I know. <laughs> Do you? Hey, try me. I've been calling the Wolf Gang. I'm this Mozart of. Oh, fuck this. What? By who? A guy in the chat room? What? I'm not making any sense. I got high already. He pretended to be a girl. Okay. I didn't find out until after... After what? Please. After we... Um, what? Sex today, Bido. Thank God. Oh my God. That is hilarious. When was this? I was like 14, okay. I didn't know pretty online girls in chat rooms could actually just be gross old men. Yet, they almost always are. If you guys could change one thing about your body, what would it be? The question came out of nowhere. Well, I was thinking about being eating it now, then I started thinking about other body parts. Do you want to change your pussy? No. I don't think so. I mean, I could be firmer, I guess. I'm sure your pussy is fine. What a weird thing to want. Sure, your pussy is fine. Yeah, yeah, the threesome in the past, it's okay. Mm, thanks? Weird. What about you guys? 
uh, wouldn't you change anything if you could? Uh, more toned butt, yeah, longer legs, uh, more unique eye color. What are you talking about? Your legs are literally perfect. Nah, it's a thing. And your butt is super cute. Mm, I can give her that. No, wrong, I wish I had your butt. Come on, me. You gotta agree that her butt is better than mine. Actually, to make sure I don't misjudge, I, it might be best if you can get a fresh opinion. I can get it. I get it. All right, we'll turn around. Oh Lord, trust me, he's gonna pick your butt, Riley. All right. <laughs> the fuck is going on here? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna uh, fuck, 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 fuck. I made sense of this. Uh, 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 fuck. Riley's butt. Screw this. I prefer Riley's butt. <laughs> Told you. Nah, I'm just lying. You really think so? Guys, <laughs> I guess it's not so bad. It's very nice. Anyways, we're not gonna torture you with more talk about our insecurities. Ah, I was enjoying it. Because you got to see our butts. Primarily, yes. I'll see you guys later. Turtles. The fuck? Why is... The, oh, I'm pretty sure the villain is going to come out of this place. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Okay, only one way back then, I guess. Nothing in this place. Fine. Who's this? Where do I need to? Hey man, what are you up to? I'm just about to play a little prank on me. Oh no. What kind of prank? I'm gonna put all other stuff inside his desk. Trolls, jello. Is that a good idea? Surely that's gonna make him matter. It'll be fine, it's just a little prank. He looks stupid, man. You do you. You do you. Alright, please don't do it, man. And then I'll get. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just don't think love and sex are the same thing. I'm not saying they are, but I still wouldn't want a person allowed to sleep with somebody else. Hey Meat, what are your thoughts on this? Oh god. What on what exactly? Open relationships. Adam thinks that if people just got over their insecurities, almost everyone would be non exclusive. But I believe that for most people jealousy is natural, so it really only works for very specific people. What's your take, Meat? And maybe be careful about what you say exactly. I agree with Nora. I agree with Nora. Yep. Monogamy is the best. When you fall in love with someone, you want that someone all to yourself. Open relationships will eventually lead to jealousy and heartbreak, no doubt about it. Very well put. Surprisingly well, actually. Did you read, like, a blog post on this? Hey, I can be smart. Shut up. Don't throw me on the, under the bus like that. I think on off. Because advantage of our relationship is that it takes the pleasure of sex. Pressure of sex. Even though I only recently shared her one to sex to be part of my life. That is after a very nice evening with a handsome gentleman. Shit. Nice. Good for you. Good thing she doesn't know who the gentleman was. <laughs> Please don't tell her. And if I was in a committed relationship with a partner who was dissatisfied with our sex life, that would make me feel terrible. That's where being open would be super helpful. If my partner wants to have sex once in a day, they can do it better than it takes the pressure off so that sex is a fun activity, not a chore. Oh, maybe, uh, but. Many monogamous couples do have a healthy sex life. I think it's more about communication and making time for each other rather than how many sexual partners you can have at once. You know, just I just think it could help those that don't. To be fair, I have been in monogamous relationships where sex was an issue. Sex was amazing. 
this is six was amazing i didn't need to want to sleep with anyone else i was just me and her it was see that is exactly what i'm talking about it's better because all you have and all you need is each other ha huh. seems more like a lucky math than a repeatable way of building a every what the fuck is this shit it's just about being with the right person anyway i've been needing to pee since we started this conversation so i'll be right back please don't come back lock the door oof sorry i was so wrapped up in our conversation i didn't even give you a proper hello thank god you did i'm glad we are on the same page about our relationships yes we are i want you and no one else aha good cuz that's exactly what i want yes ah now sex how do you think the sleep hours going and everyone's having fun the ones that showed up anyway and nobody seems to be destroyed in his school property yet so i think it's going pretty good that's it if you ignore the fact that we are doing this against strict orders of the school administration we're all good which means if anyone finds out about this i might be in huge trouble but we'll cross the bridge when we come to it. oh god are you enjoying yourself at least i am all right where were we before you guys put the world to rights uh, i'm going to see what everyone else is up to okay have fun with their inferior conversations thanks i'll see you later hey bye meet oh she's not calling me babe now i think she's cheating on me with her um where else am i supposed to nah already done anything else anywhere else everything else is done i think this is it yep time to go to sleep uh huh hey dude want to play prank on ryan uh what time is it i don't know like 4 am oh damn so you in sure we'll do it sure he's going to get some trouble in it awesome all right so what's prank where you thinking I'm going to put my oh no nah. in his mouth no nah. what that sounds less like a prank and more like a sexual assault that is sexual assault we'll take a picture it'll be hilarious don't do it sounds a bit you know gay genius daring hilarious sign of a good prank Ah, uh, is it a good prank? If you put, if I put my dick in your mouth, <laughs> whoa, dude! <laughs> While you're sleeping, is that a good prank? That is what you should think about in every time. Nah, dude, it's fucking gay. Don't put your dick in my mouth, okay? I know I'm gonna, s- I got soft lips, but I. I'm not gonna put my dick in your mouth. I'm just making a point. I don't really see how that's any different from putting your balls into his mouth. Balling is an art, yo. Ball. Uh, yeah. To put your balls in a place that don't belong. All the rappers are talking about it man. now. My fucking god. I don't think that's what they. Open up right now. Keep looking. Look away. I can't look at this shit. Here comes the sack. He's gonna bite it, isn't he? Ah, oh, gross. Come on, take a picture. Ah, uh, don't. Ooh, I think it's the uh, best. There's no picture of this. For everyone's sake. Find whatever. I need to censor this shit now, please. Man, Ryan. Will be flabbergasted when he finds out about this. Nah, we really got him. What an odd time to use such an elaborate word. Hey man, if 
you guess this play where you gotta be upfront about this shit. Whatever, what, what are you even saying? I'm gonna head back to bed. Thank you for involving me in this sophisticated practical joke. Hells yeah, chief. Jesus. Any girls gonna wake me up? No. This is absolutely unacceptable. Yes. Do you really think you are going to get away with it? Nah. Oh shit. I planned this event for a week straight. I couldn't simply cancel it last minute. 9 a.m. today in my office, both of you. Why me though? What did I do? It's Saturday. It's a Saturday. I don't care. Of course you don't, Mr. X. You wanna break the rules? You better be willing to face the consequences. Short thing. Short thing. Me, I'm so sorry I dragged you into this. Eh. It's fine. We're in this together. Now well, let's have sex in front of his face. I guess I'll see you in nine. Yep. How long is this going to take? How was it? Um. Please come in, meet. It's like he gets off being an absolute dick on being a uh, great. If coming in the Saturday wasn't bad enough, I then had to spend an hour cleaning gel out of my desk so you uh, can manage. Imagine it's not the friendliest of moods. Lucky for you, your friend has generously taken the blame for your little slumber party even after I doubted the length of the discipline action she's facing. Doubled. Jesus, Nora. What's her punishment? Doing my paperwork for the rest of the year? What's your paperwork? Uh, she's not gonna have any time to study. Now, of course, she will. She'll just have to strictly reduce her social engagements drastically. It's a classical punishment, although, for some reason, the last student I gave it to drop her out within two months. I guess some people can take a bit of hard work. You can't expel her, so now you're trying to torture her into dropping? Well, she's not gonna, so you can drop your stupid Mr. and act. You're a clever kid. Of course, that also means you know that Nora is in who I'm really after. The real issue of the college is unrelented physical violence. I know you frat boys have some big fighting even coming up, so maybe we can help each other. What do you mean? Tell me when and where this event is happening and I'll make sure that you and your friends won't suffer any consequences. In fact, it will not only let you and your fellow first years off the hook, I'll even let Nora off. She won't have to do a single hour of paperwork. I know you have a soft spot for her. <laughs> This is your one chance to be a hero. You can save Nora, you can save your friends, you can save yourself. <clears throat> oh, so you're not a you simply a twisted game the fraternity president are playing. Twisted game. Okay. Are you ready to be a hero? Tell me again about the winter versus. Uh, tell you, you don't know anything. Yay! I'm sorry, sir, but I don't know anything. You are making a big mistake. Get this, villain. I can't help you. I will find out sooner or later. Someone will crack. Give me my work now. And when they do, and the frat presidents will you protect are being expelled, you will go down with them. Is that all? <clears throat> I believe so. No punishments for me? Okay. Oh yeah, she took them off. You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. So what did he say? Well, first of all, he said that you took all the blame, so thank you for that. I don't have to do any disciplinary actions. That's good to hear. It's, it was my decision, I should be the one paying. Then he wanted me to snitch on my fraternity. He wanted to know when and where this big fighting event was that he somehow heard about. Did you tell them? No, of course not. That 
couldn't have been easy. I won't run out my friends, no matter what they offer. I love how loyal you are. Okay. Okay. How are you feeling about the paperwork? Ugh, I'll get through it. Alright, well, I'm late for training, so I better get going. Oh, before you go, uh, I have the chick's house to myself tonight, because everyone has plans. You wanna come over later? I thought maybe we could cook something together. Oh, we can cook, baby, we can cook. Sounds great. Mm-hmm. Amazing. <clears throat> I'll see you then. Although we can cook, I really hope I did the right thing. Bastion, if Merkin were to find out about the Winterverse, do you really think he would expel every single fighter? Uh, that's like 10 students, including 2 fratern frat presidents. Uh, I don't know, possibly. Are you going to fight? Of course I am. Yeah, currently I am third seat. I don't really have a choice. But Chris, did you say you come out? And then what? You could, okay. Well, then you would be safe if Merkin were to actually show up. If Merkin shows up and I am the one who decided not to fight, people are gonna think it, I was a rat. As if I was expelling 10 students on same for fighting who says you're not willing to expel every single spectator for not coming forward. You're being ridiculous. That's a terrifying thought. Ah. He might as well expel the entire school. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I just think not participating comes with just as many issues as participating does. So you might as well have some fighting. Looks like we're fucked either way. Yeah. Let's get together. Yup. Tonight I get to fuck Nora. Let's go. Phone. Who's that gonna be? I should check on my phone. What's this? Huh? Bro, this is from the last game I took the picture. What is going on? Where are the new ones? Whatever. Looks like I'm pretty popular tonight. What up? Go with Nora. Wait, what? What do you mean? Go with Nora. Hey, wanna head to a bar on Stevenson Slater? Hey, they don't check ID. Okay. I'll go with Nora. A date night with my girlfriend sounds much better than some random bar hangout. Mm, oh, uh, sorry, busy tonight. Okay, Zs. Uh, Nora, we still on for our cooking day tonight? Yep, defo. Great. Come on, date if you can. Short sure thing, babes. Can't wait to see her. Huh, remind me what we're cooking again. Homemade burgers. Tasty. Uh, if you are a food, am I right? Huh, what? <laughs> How did you think about what's gonna happen to the social? Did you think what's gonna happen to the social? Rockin did say before the sleepover that he's just say banding it, and I did think going through the sleepover regardless, maybe know that. If anything, he's going to be even more likely to move forward with that. I don't know. I love the social committee. Pool party maybe didn't go the most, get the most donations, but it was a solid whatever first step. The sleepover, even if our investment was huge success, people loved it. We're actually bringing the students of XBC closer together. We're making a difference. There's just like five to fifteen. I don't want to give up on that. Then don't. Then don't. We can continue doing all this. Uh, un officially, we don't need the school's approval. What about the funding? The meeting room, Mr. Matthews' announcements, etc. The dean really helped us get this going. We'll find other ways to fund it. Uh, other places to meet. Uh, other platforms to tell students about it. We can do this. It's all just a lot, you know. At the start of this week, I thought we were going to 
diving force and bringing the Sith of community back to this college. And now I don't even know where we will exist after the inventory break. My grandma used to say it's always dark before the dawn. Okay. Your grandma sounds like a wise lady. Yeah, every grandmother is. Except some fools. She was, she also used to say it takes more muscle to frown that to smile, so you should always try to smile. What the fuck am I even saying? And does it take more muscle to frown? Bro is talking too much. I don't know, I mean probably right. Bro is talking too much for pussy now. Huh. What are you doing? I'm testifying your grand testing your grandma's theory. And it worked. Feels like the same amount of work. Whatever. Maybe she wasn't so wise after all. Burgers. Oh my god. These are delicious. Well done, us. Pretty sure all I did was put ketchup on the buns. And you did it so well. Alright, thank you. Can I ask you something that's slightly uncomfortable? Go for it. Sure. Did you ever talk to Chris about us? I mean, I know how seriously you guys talk the whole brotherhood thing. Considering we're more than just a fling, things should probably be cleared up, right? Yeah, he knows how it is and uh, he's just gotta live with it. Okay. He thinks I'm an asshole. Lie, he's happy for us. He thinks I'm an asshole. I'm sure he thinks I'm an asshole who has no loyalty whatsoever. I'm so sorry. Chris always took the fraternity thing way too seriously. Yeah, you and me are right for each other. Him and me on the other hand, not so much. I wish he could see that. He probably just needs some time to get over with. Does that mean you're going gonna be in trouble with the wolves now? I don't think I need to worry. Everything should work out fine. I really hope so. Me too. I meant to tell you, I met this really nice uh, woman when me and some of the other chicks went to the bar a few nights ago. Uh, essentially, she works uh, like a circus activist for the organization. They do a bunch of different acts like travel skills, those people that walk on like long sticks, so they blah, 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 blah. So, and you can hire them to perform. St what the? Are you saying you want to hire circus artists if there's another social committee event? Not quite. Uh, they also offer classes, and the woman invited me to do a free taser scene. Huh? I'm probably gonna go to one on week next week. You wanna be a clown? That sounds sick. Right. I was thinking I could learn skills. Explain to me again what skills are. It's like acrobats, but you're hacking from whatever. That sounds kinda hot. Okay, hot. We on topic now. I know. Uh huh. What do you want to do now? Uh, I did download this app. I'm listening. It's called Dirty Dice. Okay. Essentially, the game rolls the dice and tells you what to do to the other person. Okay. Spicy. Hmm. You want to try it out? Don't mind if I do. Definitely, it's a sex game. Sh should we get to your room? No one's home. We could just do it in the living room. Okay. What if they come back early? Eh, I'm kind of like the thrill. All right, living room it is. You ready? I was born ready. All right. You were born ready to try in a sex app? Yep, I'm up. All about the pussy. Alright. You. Are you trying to kill the mood? Nah. You decided to go down this line for questioning. Decided to okay. Let's just roll the dice. Alright, it says you need to suck on my boobs. And we're done. I already like this game.